when you uh, collaborate or even when your training is spread between the various disciplines, then it's easy you know, for people to say, well, no, you are not a mathematician, you're an engineer. And then, of course, the engineers will say, no, you are not an engineer, you are a mathematician. So you have this feeling of being sitting in between two chairs and not knowing exactly on which one you, you should be. One of the uh, events that really uh, changed my view of ocean waves and my interest in ocean waves was in uh, 1998 uh, when I was in New Caledonia and then there was the uh, tsunami warning. So that was uh, July 17th, 1998. There was a big tsunami in Papua New Guinea that killed uh, 2,000 people. And so New Caledonia is not that far. So there was the, uh, the warning and so on and so on. I was there, so I experienced it. Then nothing happened in New Caledonia. But so that's, that's when I really started to, to work on tsunamis. So now, you know, I'm really fascinated by the, by the ocean. You know, for me, that's the ideal uh, case in, uh, in science. When the um, problems that you study from the fundamental point of view have been generated by some very practical uh, applications. I remember, you know, the first contract with the industry and they asked one simple question. Well, it took us five years to give the, uh, the answer, but in the process, in order to give a practical answer to the company, we had to do a lot of uh, fundamental research. So that's, to me, that's, when it works like this, it's uh, really the ideal uh, situation.